Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we're going to be putting the playfield back together on a ship ahoy. But first, we're going to grab some good old Novus 2 and clean the playfield down. Then after that, we're going to grab some of this awesome Mother's Gold Wax and Wax the Playfield. So this part is probably going to get sped up, just like usual. So um, let's get um, putting it back together. You might have uh, wondered why I used the screwdriver on some parts. What I did was I doubled up the the rag on it, and there's some little parts here I, I can't get my fingers in unless I remove these guides. I don't want to remove these guides and get them all bent up. So it was better for me just to take the screwdriver and double up the um the what do you call it the, the rag and just um, get in there real lightly with it and clean it. This could use a polish too. Even a good clean though. But yeah, that's why I I did that. I might polish these if I can't get them clean enough. They're disgusting. Just full of years of wax and crud on them. So, I think they're coming out good now. Yeah, they're coming out nice. I don't know, I might polish them. I can try. It's not going to hurt. I can't get them clean with the Novus 2. Let's all polish them. But it looks like they're coming perfect. That stuff was just whatever it was. Just old ball crud. You gotta think everything that's in your house is gonna land on a play field. You smoke, you know, you don't have to smoke, it's everywhere. So that will get on the play field too. Anytime there's moisture in the air, all that dirt and particles and stuff will stick to the moisture, and then the moisture just lands because, you know, it's air, you know. So that's how these things just get caked up over the years and all these little cracks and crevices. It's just amazing how dirty these things can get. That's why I completely strip them down. And you're probably like, why are you worrying about down here? It's wood down here. It still needs to be preserved. It still needs to be treated, you know, correctly with care. It's going to get its wax. It's getting cleaned just as good as the rest of the play field, maybe even better, maybe the same, but it's still going to get the same coat of wax on, it's still going to get all the exact same treatment, it's not getting treated any different or any less. It's got to get that treatment because it's what, it's part of the play field. You can't neglect that part and have this part decay and get all nasty and stuff because what it's going to do, it's going to come up. So if you preserve everything on a play field equally you are getting um 100 
preservation of your play field. Yeah, these will not have to be wet, um, polished. They're coming up clean and beautiful. Let's need a little elbow grease on them. Snobus 2 does wonders. It's a um, very mild um, abrasive. That means, you know, the harder you use it, the more damage it's going to do. The lighter you, less you use it, the less damage it's going to do. And you might have noticed I didn't clean around these as well. When I had them off, that was the time to clean. So around all these, they were all polished already, and they all were waxed. So those are taken care of. Now I'm going to have to go back through my video like I normally do and see if I missed anything. And then we'll get the video started back up. I know I missed the tops of these. Get the video started back up. And then I'll wipe all this Nova haze off. And then we'll go back with the uh, um, wax. Get that off. I don't want to take that off because that says number 167. That was put there for some reason. I was some enough factory marking, so I will not do anything with that. I will stay away from it. I like to preserve that stuff. Alright, I'm going to shut the video off. I'm probably going to swap the battery too. And then um, I'm going to go over and make sure I didn't miss anything with the Novus too. And then um, touch up a couple spots. I'll take the haze off and then when I come back, we will be waxing it. Alright, we're back. I like to use these for waxing. They're just exfoliating cotton rounds. Girls use them for um, makeup. I like using them for waxing. Mother's Pure Car Brazilian Caranuba Wax. This is the best. It's paste wax. It smells like old um, bubble gum. Mmm, smell. Smell of vision. Er, there is no smell of vision. Anyways. This is the wax I use on every single machine. I do not use liquid wax because it's not wax. It's fake wax. I use this because it's real. This is real wood. It's not fake wood. So we're using real wax on it. And again, we can speed up the video. go. Playfield is all waxed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let this haze up real good and then I'll buff it off. And what you probably noticed is that I kind of spent a lot of time in this area. I want to make sure that the wax gets good into all the little cracks because this does have planking on it. Um, it's old machine, so it's got it's got some planking on it, but I want to make sure the wax gets in and seals all the cracks and everything real good. And plus, this is the highest wear area, and up in here, here you get some wear area, 
but it isn't as bad because you're spending your t all your time. You got your powerful slingshots and your flippers and all this right in here. This has a lot of cushion from the um, all the rubber that's around it. So we got that taken care of. So now we're going to let it haze up. And while it's hazing, I'm going to turn the video off and start putting some of the little small rings on the posts so we can get this um, assembled. So we'll be back instantly. All right, we're going to start putting it back together. I don't know how much of this I'm going to record because it's going to be um, mighty, mighty boring. And I mean mighty boring. So, um, yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to record, but I'll try to record some. But let's just go um, fast mode. This is going to be too hard to do. It's going to take me forever. It's going to take a good hour to read this map. So we'll just get back once it's done. All right, we're back. And you notice that the play field is almost completely finished. Um, what happened, why I had to stop is the rubbers that were on this play field didn't match what I got for brand new rubbers. So I think um, the rubber design, the way, like some, some of these, these are just, I think they were just individual or something like that. But anyways, the, um, the diagram and my pictures and everything were, were throwing me off. So I had to take a time out and look to see what was different. Let me see if I can find a picture. Uh, of what was different. Um, yes. Right here. As you can see on my phone. Right by the kick out it had just two um, rubbers on each one. And if you look up here it's got one giant rubber that goes around them. And that was throwing me off with a couple other things. And um so either it was a different brand of rubber kit or a different interpretation of this rubber kit, but it was throwing me off. So I'm like, well, wait a minute. I don't have enough of these small little ones to finish it. So I had to stop, take a break, and break down the kit and then put it together slowly to make sure I had all the parts. But as you can see, I did have all the parts. Except for this piece right here that we are going to replace right now because... I got a brand new one. This piece is broke. As you can see, it's also on backwards too. This is the um, last lane guide. It goes right here. So we're going to put that together real quick. And this is the wrong screwdriver. Here we go. I need my, what do you call it, it's the right one for the wrong thing. Oh, I forgot. When I did that, I had to use my socket wrench. I think that was a quarter inch. Yes. I had to use the extension because it was a deep, because it had the, the post on it, so I had to use this. So we're just going to use this instead. So these posts got to completely come out. Let's take the rubber off so we're not bumping into anything. This piece has to completely come off. Let's put this here. This will go in the parts box. 
And thus, we'll go on to play field. All the old parts are going back to the customer as per requested. Let's get that one on first. This is a much fun. I almost was going to do this off camera, but then I was like, I at least got to do some, finish the rest of this for you guys. So you can see exactly what's going on. Let's get this almost tightened. There we go. And this goes around here. And that goes like that. But yeah, I, I accidentally got sent the wrong part, which is an easy easy mistake because the last two numbers that are part are almost exactly the same I think it was like a 3-3 three, three or something like that or 3-8 but if you looked at them real quick they would look alike there we go. so I can totally see how they accidentally sent me the wrong one but I had to get it together and I had to get this game tested to work out the bugs because today right now it is Wednesday and this game is going bye bye on Saturday or Sunday depending on the weather it's going back to its owner because the owner I'm sure it really wants to play this and I don't blame him So that's what I had to do. I had to test it. I had, there was a couple bugs in it. You know, a switch is not adjusted properly. You know, the ball, way the ball would roll over. One way it worked perfect, the other way it didn't. So a little tweak here, a little tweak there. And now it works perfectly. I like to not crank these on tight. I like to let them have just a little wiggle room so when they do get smacked with the ball they can move a little bit. See this one right here has got a crack in it. Um, if, if these are you know so tight that they can't move a little bit that's why I keep them all a little bit loose. If the, I'd rather have the ball hit it and just this can give, you know what I'm saying, so it won't just shatter. So when a ball hits, if it hits it hard enough, this will move a little bit. It, it's a little more insurance. That's, that's how I like to do it. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's um, how it is. It's all back together now. We don't need this anymore. So I'll turn it on and um, you can see how nice it looks. I have to put a quarter in it. Because this machine still eats quarters. Beautiful, huh? Look at that bad boy. It needs the pitch adjusted. As you can see, I do not have enough pitch on it. The ball is literally getting stuck by the um, spinner, but yeah, I, I only there's probably only like three or four degrees of pitch right now, so yeah, the ball is getting like stuck everywhere. But I'm still testing it. Let's bring it back over here. You can see it's nice and lively. Enough of that. I got the ball mech fixed real good, so now it pops the ball out every time. I was having issues with that too, right when I got it home and I got it so it's actually working. It, the ball wasn't kicking out good, so I had to fix that. 
But yeah, as you can see, um, it's all nice and lit up and everything. Everything works on it real nice. But yeah, it's a it's a very very fun game. Um, that's it for the the play field and everything. What we're gonna do next is um we're gonna have a video of the whole gameplay on it where I'm playing a game. And since I got two cameras now, there's gonna be one on a play field and one on a back glass. So we're gonna have fun with it. We're gonna have to, well, hopefully my daughter she can get um in split screen. I think she can do that on her computer while we'll have half of it the back screen and the other half the play field. So I think that'll be really cool. So anyways that's it for the play field video. Like I said I'm sorry that I couldn't you know get that in there but like I said with the the way the rubbers were you know different I thought I was short of these little ones. I thought we were totally short but we weren't it was the right thing it's just whatever the other kit was it was different the way the rubbers went on there. But anyways um yeah thanks for watching and um the last video on this will be the gameplay. Arr. So um yeah uh, like and subscribe to us. Click that subscribe button. Click the like button. If you like this video series so much, share it with your friends. This is an awesome machine. It was so well taken care of um, for its life. I've never seen such a nice machine that I got the privilege of working on. It was a beautiful machine. It just needed to be shopped really bad. It, um, I, I, I don't think he had it shopped for the 20 years that he owned it. That's why I tell everybody, get your machine shopped or learn how to shop them yourself. After a while, everything needs to get gone through. You have to go through all your switches, clean all your contacts, rebuild things that you think are working. These pop bumpers, they worked. They worked fine. Now they work like lightning. I mean, watch these things. Look at that. Get it in there. You just touch it and they go crazy. Yeah, shop your machines, people. Shop your machines, rebuild your flippers. Rebuild your steppers. Do all that stuff. Um, the steppers were all gummed up. Um, they didn't work. I think when there was issue with the machine, when he had let it sit, I think that's what gummed up the steppers on it because they weren't exercised. These machines are old, they need to be exercised. I, I say daily, but you can do it weekly or at least the very least monthly. If it's a four player game, go through all four players at least once a month. You gotta go through all four and get every digit moving. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful machine. It, it needed the flippers rebuilt. Um, one of them was a, a little wonky, one had a bad EOS switch, and the other had just a, just a little bit of play in it. Well, the wonky one had more play in it, but now they're solid. Um, the pop bumpers were all rebuilt, new coil sleeves, um, new plastics for the play field that go underneath the pop bumpers, um, all new light sockets for the, um, all the pop bumpers. And these are weird too, they're not, they are not pop bumpers, they are the complete ex assembly but they have no um, solenoid. That's all they do. They don't have the metal ring that pops down and smacks the ball. Which is very strange but it's also very cool. Because you still hit them and you get, still get your 500 points. Um, that's about it. I polished some of the chrome up here. Um, chrome. The chrome polished all that up and made it look pretty again. Um, but yeah. It's a fun game. It's a real fun game. So, um, yeah, the next video is going to be the, the finale. It's going to be the, the final gameplay. And we're going to see how hard I can smash that score. Because this is a high scoring machine. I mean, it's real high. It even has got a million light on it. That's how high this game scores. I mean, just this one rollover. You hit the one, you automatically get 5,000 points. Check it out.
5,000 points right away. Do these give you 5,000? No, those are 500. But yeah, you just hit this number one, which is pretty good. You got a side bumper here, too. Get another 5,000 points on that. And then if you get um, 4,000 or 100,000 points, you get extra ball. Plus, if you get all these rollovers, there you go, another ball. You got a wow. Then if you land it in here on 11, because you got the wow there, you get another ball, which is another wow up on the screen, which is cool. These, instead of counting up higher for balls, this will um, give you a wow. So if I hit this one here, you get another wow. So now when I drain the ball, you'll lose a wow. And your ball number four is still the same. Every time you drain a ball, you lose a wow. Drain the ball again. Now we're going to be the four. Now we're going to go to three. Cool. Anyways, um, like, smash that subscribe button, like it, share it, follow us on Facebook at Mark's Basement Arcade, and um, I guess that's it. Next video you're going to see, probably in a week after this one, will be the um, gameplay. So alright, take care, later.